It's a little strange. All right. Finally, since we're we're having all these uh, <laughs> wonderful, you know, non not not really sports uh, discussions, let's talk about what uh, what went on with HBO Max today. They uh, this is our childhood being altered. Uh, let's see. Mr. Fire jumped in and said, how's, uh, how's Gold Strike's new book? Uh, it is fantastic. Moneyline is fantastic down at Tunica. Everybody can go get their information over at tunicatravel.com. I'm telling you, Moneyline, the, the TVs alone are worth it, but the food is really damn good, too. Um, and the book itself, like, you get pretty good odds. That's where I actually made a lot of my, uh, my futures bets last year. So, um, and Chris, you made some futures bets through there last year, didn't you? Yep, the uh, the odds for college were better there. The odds for pros, uh, the t- the way that I I guess it depends on how you want to bet. Yeah, the the odds for the pros were better at another another book, and so I went yeah. to that one. I think it was Horseshoe. Yep, but Gold Strike, all. Gold Strike for sure. Money Line, fantastic book, fantastic restaurant, fan- everything. The Top Golf Swing Suite is is awesome. Everything about that place is awesome. Yep. Um, so back to this, Elmer Fudd, Warner Brothers announced that. Uh, they are doing new Looney Tunes commercials, uh, not commercials, excuse me, Looney Tunes uh, uh, shows for HBO Max. And in these, they are taking away Elmer Fudd's rifle. I am perplexed. It was a shotgun, but okay. I, well, e- either way, either way. Uh, they're taking away his gun. Yeah. You've got a hunter that is hunting a rabbit, and their claim was they did not want to... Uh, help boost gun violence in this country. They felt that that was a part of it. They want to get away from that. Then take Elmer Fun out of it because yeah, th- I, Bugs I, Bunny I, had several different foes that were a part of his show. Yeah. Just remove the foe and move on. Well, Yosemite Sam, right? Yeah. They didn't say anything about Yosemite Sam. Are they going to take away his guns? Are they like? This is what I'm confused about. Um, Michael said, cancel culture strikes again. Give me a break. I, that's kind of my thing here. And, and I'm all for doing whatever you can to, uh, to quell gun violence, right? I, I'm all for that. But, uh, you're telling me that a cartoon character is, is what causes this in this country. I, I can understand if it's GTA or whatever, you know, Grand Theft Auto, et cetera. I don't buy it, but whatever. I, I think, uh, the Brown Yeti said, PC as it gets. What's next? Tom and Jerry. Um, Matt Miller said, people being upset about a fake hunter with a gun hunting a fake rabbit. It's ridiculous. No shooter watches Looney Tunes. That's what makes them shoot up a school. Yeah. Uh, Michael said, That's kids right. have no idea. And then making a big deal out of it makes it a bigger deal than it actually is. Yes. That's, right. that's the problem here. And that's why I even brought this up is, what are we doing? Like, when you listen to, again, we're going to bring up the social media aspect of it. Social media is an echo chamber. Social media is not real life. That's not who's actually watching your cartoons. If you've got people that are complaining about the fact that Elmer Fudd has a gun, they can turn it off. Turn on something else. Like Correct. that's that's all I'm saying. Just do something different. I, I'm I'm so tired of these big time corporations uh, that are, you know, giving into, you know, what whatever they're signing up for. Right, all, all these, all these protests, all these boycotts, all these whatever. That's not who is eating your product. That's not who is taking it in. It's just ridiculous. So, tell. I mean, what what are your thoughts here? You, you agree? no, I'm annoyed by this. I don't think that this doesn't bring about any real change. I this love Elmer Fudd. God, yeah, it's just no, ridiculous. And I, I hadn't just, watched Looney Tunes in forever, and now I'm just no irritated. Like <laughs> if they had just done away with Elmer Fudd. I might not have would have even noticed, yeah. but instead it's like this big announcement. It's like this big thing that's, I don't know. Ben typed in said millennials. Eh, I mean, we're millennials. I don't. I don't know that. I don't know that you can't. You can't blame it all on millennials or no, the next it's generation. Just a it's just segment of the population. Decision that, decision makers are no longer looking at certain things. And if you're if you're an anti gun person, that's fine. You have the right to not like guns and not be around guns. And there are plenty of places you can go. Where where they have pretty pretty strict gun laws to where you you don't have to be around them and that's yeah. that's okay, but he, you know he he is a hunter. This is not somebody roaming the streets of Manhattan with with a rifle. Okay, he's in the woods hunting a rabbit in the woods. It's what we do. And everyone who says they hate guns all say, 
I'm okay with hunting, but I don't like the other big guns. And that, that's fine. That's not what he has. It's not what he's doing. It's it would, he's it would not be pretending different. to be some you know. On crazy top of that, long... he never actually shoots Bugs Bunny. Like he never he never wins. That's the whole purpose of the cartoon is that Bugs Bunny foils him time and time again. It's just ridiculous. Uh, and Willa Good says, "Yeah, millennial." <laughs> Uh, Michael said, there's another group of people to blame, in my opinion, but I'm not getting political. Uh, yeah, we wish we weren't either. We wish I, I'm so ready for live sports. I'm so sick of this crap. Like at, Matt Miller yeah. said, well, the anti-gun argument ends if the minority gets their way of defunding the police. What uh, what didn't Elmer Fudd shoot bugs with in Arkansas? Oh, no, uh, with an AR. Never mind. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I'm not going to go that far. It, it, look, uh Oh, Ben said, who's paying for HBO Max? Anyway, uh, it's just a more purple HBO. Uh, look, the fact of the matter is, the HBO Max didn't jump out to a massive uh, audience because... Do you, do you think they, they made this announcement hoping they would pick up audience? I wonder I if their audience grew after this. I'd like to look at the numbers next week. I... Yeah. Yeah. I, but I I'm with see, you. I, I don't know that people actually watching it or paying attention to it or care about this stuff. I don't think so. I don't, like, at one, I don't think anybody's buying HBO Max to watch Looney Tunes. Um, no, no, you're buying it to watch Sopranos. You're buying it to watch Game of Thrones, and that doesn't really help your anti-violence argument, okay? You're buying it to watch shows like, you know, Dexter or whatever else. Like, you're, yeah. you're, you're buying it to watch these shows that are ultra-violent. My boy's up from his nap. You see this? <laughs> I see that, yeah. No, first 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 Maui tries to attack me in the middle of the show. Now Hey, that's that what happens late. when we're uh when we're working in quarantine, man. That's uh, that's the way it goes. Sometimes yep. you get that, sometimes you don't. So uh, I think it is a signal that it's probably time for us to end the show today. So That's right. Uh so we'll go on and get out of here. You guys have been fantastic. <coughs> Excuse me. All of you guys in the chat, uh the Brown Yeti, Ben, Michael, uh, Matt, everybody else that jumps in. Thank you, you guys. Get, you have all been fantastic. We definitely appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Fire 45 on Periscope jumped in and said, how in the foot is he going to hunt rabbits? <laughs> Who knows? Listen, you know. can't hunt a rabbit with a knife, I promise. No, I mean, I guess I guess traps. Maybe you're setting traps. I, who knows? Uh, oh, Michael, that's so good. Michael said, great show as usual, fellas. Uh, thanks for the break from the jacked up real world. Yeah. That's that's what we do this show for every day. Like we wanted to get more in the break part and not yes. more balls deep in that that's, real world. We hate talking about this stuff. We would much rather be discussing sports and whatnot. Luckily, we're getting close to preview time. We'll be doing our NFL and uh, college football previews, et cetera. Again, we've got an announcement coming at some point this week, so everybody stay tuned for that. Uh, ben said he's hunting with a bubble gun. Good gracious. That's just ridiculous. All right. All of you in the chat. You drive the show, you drive the conversation, and we appreciate you for being here every single day, Monday through Friday, uh, in the afternoon, whether it be sometime after 3 p.m. Central or 4.30 or whatever. Uh, We are here, we do the show every single day, and we love you guys that jump in. Tell all you boys about them. Michael said, gig them. I don't know about all that, but uh, we do appreciate all you guys. Share the show, tell your friends about it, leave a nice review over on Apple Podcasts. That helps us out a ton. Um... Make sure you're subscribed on all the different platforms, et cetera. WinningCuresEverything.com, TunicaTravel.com. Those are the sites to go check out. And with that said, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment.